most beautiful sound in the world, a baby's laughter? No. <laughs> Is it falling rain? Absolutely not. It's the sound of my own voice asking the tough questions. It's time for the talk show portion of the show. <laughs> Rob, <laughs> if you could be the meat in a Sklar Brothers sandwich, oh. what meat would you be? Oh. Um, mm. I'd probably be a vegan patty, because I like keeping my meat away from the Sklar Brothers. <laughs> Point taken. There, that was another great one for the thumbnail. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Just throwing out the gold the yeah. whole episode. Love it. There it is. <laughs> Thumbnail ready. Thumbnail ready. <laughs> and uh, Randy. Yeah. Tell me, what's it like to look like Jason? So. <laughs> God, you asked the tough question. I know. People are often coming up to me, Taylor, and they say, "You gotta stop." And I'm like, I don't know what you're referring to. <laughs> if they are referring to looking like Jason. I don't know how to stop. <laughs> I can't quit you. Yeah. You're I mean, doing I can't your quit best. looking like you. Yeah. You're doing your best between the mustache I and mean, the shirt. I mean, is... you're doing all you can. Yeah. And Jason, same question. What is it like to look like you? Obviously, it's a blessing. Uh, <laughs> and a curse, because I want people to love me for who I am and not for looking like a low rent J.J. Abrams. And I feel like. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know. You two are always on stage together. Is it weird to be competing against each other today, or is it refreshing? I mean, this is kind of like taking us back to the womb. Like, yes. who gets out? <laughs> who's, who's getting gonna... out first? Yeah. I was out first, five minutes older. Uh, thank you. Wow. Thank you. Which, by the way, just means he was closer to the door. Oh, I mean, I'm okay, saying, that's on the way weird. Out. All right, well, that concludes the talk show portion. Yeah. Where's my Peabody? Let's get back to games. I'm always wondering is, is everyone okay? <laughs> no, right? No. 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 But we all want to seem okay, especially on Instagram. And the fastest way to convince people you're doing fine online is to attach a cliched and insincere caption to your post, like this. You get what you work for, not what you wish for. <laughs> okay, so you worked for a trust fund by <laughs> being born to rich parents, got it. Yeah. Oh, a lot of trust fund kids yeah. in here. Oh. oh. <laughs> Snippo Baby Night here at After Midnight. Wait, wait. Can I'm we... kidding. We love Nepo Babies. Come on the show. Can we throw that back up? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Can throw we, that can back we throw up. That back you get up. what you work for, not what you wish for. I assumed it was syphilis. Is that wrong? <laughs> Is that wrong? Is that wrong? <laughs> I, I'm wishing that that boat hits the rocks. <laughs> Over, not hurt her, no. just throw her in the water for a minute. Just a little shake. Yeah. A little, a little, yeah. Shake the baby a little bit. You know? <laughs> this is the inspiration for our next game, Decode the Quote. Yeah. <laughs> Panelists, I'm going to show you a series of Instagram posts and their quote captions, and for 200 points, you'll tell me what's really going on behind the quote. Subtext. We love it. Love it. Jason, you're up first. Please decode this quote. Don't compare your life to others. The sun and moon both shine when it's their time. <laughs> okay, I know we're all joking, but that's actually a pretty good message. That is. <laughs> it's great. Okay. This is, can I decode it? Please. I really want to. Uh, decode if it. Tampa, Florida became a person. <laughs> 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 what is this quote really saying? I think it's saying, I left my baby in the car with the window <laughs> up. <laughs> and I'm just looking to see if anyone noticed, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Randy, you're next. <laughs> Decode this quote. Mm. Always go with the choice that scares you the most, because that's the one that is going to help you grow. That's right. And that quote is why I took this job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did I mention I'm an impressionable white woman on Instagram? By the way, that is the foot of the woman on the boat. I'm just saying. <laughs> just, just, just for reference. OK, so I'm going to decode this quote, Taylor. Yeah. Um, I think his mom just died. Oh. 
So I Wait, think that was his choice. That was his choice to be like, I'm okay. <laughs> okay, the way you said it sounded like he killed his mom. <laughs> and I just want to make sure that's not what you're saying. I'm sorry, with that tattoo? No. <laughs> okay, Rob, now you. Please do us the honor and decode this quote. Wake up, beauty, it's time to beast. Obviously, she wants to be locked up with a creature and his books. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, right. This feels like a gym quote, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. She looks like it's Toyotathon, and she's got to sell <laughs> like 8,000 Toyotas by the end of this month. Or she out. <laughs> and finally, for this last one, the first person to buzz in and decode this quote wins an extra 200 points. What you think you become, what you feel you attract, what you imagine you create. Aww. Rob. Don't let your pet be influenced by Oscar the Grouch. <laughs> well, you're all experts in subtext. <laughs> Lucky for me, I'm never hiding anything beneath the surface. What you see is definitely what you get. Yeah. Rob is in the lead with 1,700 points. There it is. There's the thumbnail. When we come back, we'll find out who here is a robot. Could be any one of us, honestly. After midnight, we'll be right back. And the next person voted to be a cutie who sends their friends videos is you. Want more? Follow After Midnight on TikTok. Oh! <laughs>